Hi, my name is Geets Bryan, and this is my video speech for um, my nomination for captaincy. So before I get started, I would just like to say a huge thanks to Co Coach Leah for reaching out to me via email and asking me to do this video. And also the people or the person that nominated me. I don't know who you guys are, or else I would thank you guys in person or through an email at least. Um, and also just two little things before I get right down to the speeching. Uh, to all the girls that I coached last year who were 10 and under intermediates last year, I just hope you guys all had a great season. I'm so proud of you girls because you guys are all amazing swimmers and I can't wait to get back to you guys either as your coach or as a fellow teammate or maybe even as a captain which would be great as well. Um, so let's just get right down to it. Oh, almost forgot. Uh, to all the girls who are new this year, hi, my name is Gates. Um, I am 17 years old. I'm on 16, 19 age group. I have been a athlete on the team for seven years, and I have been a student coach as well as a volunteer, never a captain, however. Um, this year, I took a year abroad in France for 10 months. This is my ninth month, and I have been swimming with a French synchro team. We went to the Championnat de France. It was all, it's been an amazing experience all around. Um, so I'm, but I'm sorry that I wasn't able to meet you guys and get to know you guys, and I can't wait to get back to all of you guys in September and really get to know every single new swimmer. Um, so, anyways, getting right down to it. Um, I believe that one of the factors that is detrimental to being abroad is that nobody really knows me and I think a lot of people would think that I don't know how this team works or functions and that's really hard to be a captain if you don't know how something works or functions but I can really assure all of you that I do from the inside out. I've been on this team since I was 10 and I've seen this team evolve a lot. I've seen different head coaches come and go and I've seen it just evolve into this amazing thing that it is today and I'm really proud of everybody who's made it the way it is because it has really become my family. I have found sisters on this team. I have found people that I will look up to for my whole entire li life and it is just really something that I am in love with and you know, uh, just synchro is my entire life. Uh, I also know how uh, the three groups of this team function, and when I say three groups, I mean the swimmers, the coaches, and the parents. Uh, all three of these groups function in very different ways, and I'm lucky enough to be a swimmer on this team. I have student coached, and my mother is also very involved in the parent group, so I do know how all that works, and um, thank you, Mom, for actually keeping me up to date with everything that has been going on because I have been following you guys and stalking you all on Facebook and Instagram about all of your competitions and I'm so proud of every single swimmer of all my friends on this team. You guys have done such a great job this year because this is a year of big change in our team and I, I think that this season has been some of, one of the best seasons for all of you guys. Um, but um, I do know how all of these three groups communicate, and I think that it's the job of a captain to sort of, um, I would want to say supervise the communication between these three groups, present the problems or the wants and things like that of the swimmers to the coaches and to the parents and present ideas, and I believe that I am good at that. I believe I'm good in communication and talking to people. Sorry for the noise, we're on a main road. Um, but I, I do believe that the level of communication that I hold is good. I can talk to people and really deliver ideas and listen and collaborate and I think that's very important for a captain. Um, secondly, I care so much about this team and Subsequently, it's swimmers. I want everybody to have a great experience like I've had. I want everybody to fall in love with it when they're a little kid and finish as a senior like I will be next year and just absolutely have a second family. 
I want that for every swimmer and I want to make that happen and I think that Captain C really I can help people see the sport as I see it as something that is so much more than uh, a sport. It's really a way of life and it's um, a new way of looking at things. Uh, I would also say that uh, I'm very hardworking. When I set a goal, I will achieve it. I know that if you ask any of my teammates when I dive in the pool, uh, whether for better or worse, it's I'm, I'm in synchro mode. I work for how many ever hours I am in that pool and I focus on synchro and I have my time out of the pool and I'm a completely different person and I think that that is very needed to be a good captain is to have that work ethic and when you need to work you will work and I believe that I have that and it's developed over the years thanks to synchro I think in a large part um, and lastly I guess I've always just dreamed of being a captain which it is no reason in itself to be one but I've always wanted this so badly and I believe that if you really want something you will be so much more motivated to do a good job rather than someone who just accepts the nomination because why not I've really always looked up to the captains and I've wanted to influence this team I've wanted to leave this mark on, on my mark on, on this team and I think that that's one of the best ways possible is to be a captain and to really communicate to everybody my ideas and just move this team forward uh, because Synchro has opened so many doors for me you know I, I've gone to different countries and swam and that's really amazing because you see how much Synchro can just uh, make bonds between people and you don't really think so at first because I know that when I arrived I spoke a completely different language than all my teammates but just the fact that we could all do a barracuda or all do a crane that bonded us in a way that is really unbreakable you know we're always synchro swimmers and we're always teammates and we're always sisters and I want to make sure that everybody feels that um, when they're swimming and I think that captaincy would be an amazing way to do that and really to you know make all my sort of dreams about um, that come true and I mean for everybody and so I really do hope you guys work, um, do vote for me. Um, I know I went off on little tangents here and there. I'm sorry if I sound really repetitive because I know that my vocabulary is not so strong when I'm speaking another language all the time. Uh, but I hope you guys ignore that and really um, think about voting for me because it is something that I've wanted to do ever since I'm a little ki I was a little kid. Um, so yeah, in any case, I'll get back to you guys in September, and I can't wait to start training with you guys again um, and get back to my Synchro family. So I love you guys a lots and lots, and hope you guys finish up the season the best way possible at the Junior Olympics. Good luck to everybody. Bye.